Hello mortals. Do you know what's common between cosmologists scratching their heads when analyzing the Big Bang, your phone battery, and those suffering from bipolar disorder? When they're out of charge, good luck getting any work done. Also lithium, the lightest of the metals and the third element in the periodic table. Lithium holds a seat at the Council of the High Elders of Elements, together with hydrogen and helium, as those are the elements that were produced during the Big Bang, and whose abundance can be estimated. This led to a so-called, cosmological lithium discrepancy, as older stars seem to have less lithium than they should, and some younger stars have much more. There should be three times as much primordial lithium than we can see. But why? Did ancient aliens use up all that lithium for batteries to power up their UFOs and draw random circles in our crops? Potentially. But first, we have to understand some fundamental properties of lithium. Its nucleus, that tiny dot in the middle of an atom consisting of protons and neutrons that make up most of its mass, is barely stable, just like the people who have to take it as medication but we'll get to that later. As a consequence, it takes little energy to split it apart, and therefore it is the only one of the lighter elements in the periodic table that can produce net energy through nuclear fission. In younger stars, lithium is produced through nuclear fusion, though it is burned as fast as it is produced. As a result, most lithium available to us is produced only in the classical nova explosions, making it a surprisingly rare element given how light it is. Ironic how such a rare element born in the final fireworks of a star ended up in literal fireworks. Let's look at some chemical properties. Lithium is the least dense of the solid or liquid elements in the periodic table, enough to float on water. Sweet, let's build unsinkable ships out of it. Would be something I'd say if I wanted to win a Darwin Award. The issue with lithium is that it's so soft you can cut it with a knife, making such a ship the ideal prey to unexpected icebergs. More importantly, lithium is very excitable. Dropping it in water has the same effect as dropping an epileptic into a disco. Don't use lithium for building boats. Since it is so reactive, it cannot be discovered in its pure form. It is always solved in a liquid or part of the chemical structure of rocks. In 1817, diligent chemists discovered this new element inside a rock, which is how lithium got its name, from the Greek word lithos, which means stone. Ancient Greeks would be a bit surprised if they learned our phones are powered by stone batteries, but anyhow. Humans being human, they quickly went from dropping lithium into the water for fun to using it to enhance the power of thermonuclear weapons. Nuclear bombs maximize their yield by tapping into the power of fusion. The initial detonation is classically done via nuclear fission, and the force of this explosion causes a nuclear fusion reaction of hydrogen isotopes, which is much more powerful. Imagine someone drops a few Mentos in your Coke. How can you, unintentionally, maximize the chaos? That's right, you forcefully try to push the lid back on, causing coke to spray everywhere. Some scientists thought it was funny to put a lid on nuclear weapons. Enter lithium deuteride. Under the extreme conditions of temperature and pressure created by the fission stage, the lithium in LID undergoes a nuclear fusion reaction with deuterium. This fusion reaction releases a substantial amount of energy and results in the formation of helium and tritium, along with additional neutrons, increasing the power of the bomb a thousandfold. As destructive as it might sound, lithium may still one day greatly benefit humanity by helping produce energy via nuclear fusion. Nuclear bombs already make lithium quite precious and powerful, but it can do more. On the topic of power, more than three-quarters of lithium production nowadays is for enslaving electrons in batteries, particularly rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. These batteries are used everywhere, from electric vehicles and your mobile phone to the GPS trackers under your skin. Lithium-ion batteries pack quite the electron punch. The carbon-based anode soaks up lithium ions from the lithium-based cathode during charging, and when used, the opposite flow takes place. Linking them is an electrolyte, a lithium salt and a solvent, which lets ions dance between the electrodes. As they groove, electrons flow externally, powering up the phone you're watching this on right now. Please tell me you're using a phone and that my joke didn't fall flat. But unlike the many mistakes humans make in their lives, the movement of lithium ions is reversible, allowing the battery to be charged and discharged multiple times, especially useful since they are known for their high energy density, meaning they can store a lot of energy in a relatively compact and lightweight package, where size and weight constraints are important. 
Despite the convenience, there is one sort of people that aren't their biggest fans, firefighters. Sometimes these batteries have the tendency to overheat and explode, so if your device gets swollen like me after 10 digital tacos, turn it off immediately, or else you're in for a bad day, as lithium battery fires are inextinguishable by conventional methods, remember what happens when lithium comes into contact with water. Due to the high energy density of these batteries, the fires can rage on for days and can reignite even after they appear to have stopped burning. But don't eat your electronics out of the window, as lithium batteries are generally safe as long as properly handled. But as with all good things, challenges arise. Lithium batteries are like the Avengers that save the city while destroying some buildings in the process. The mining and processing of lithium can result in adverse environmental impacts if not controlled responsibly, such as habitat disruption and soil pollution. During the manufacturing process, large amounts of fossil fuels can be used, which is its own separate issue. Even rechargeable batteries have a finite lifetime, as the capacity deteriorates after a certain number of charge cycles, something you might be familiar with if you've owned a phone for several years. Disposal of lithium batteries is also not an easy task, given that the recycling process is complex, and some people just throw theirs into the trash bin instead of sorting. If the Skynet army finds batteries in your trash bag, be ready for consequences. And yet, lithium batteries prove to be essential for renewable energy systems, such as solar and wind power. They help store energy when it's abundant and release it when needed, reducing the reliance on fossil fuels and contributing to a decrease in greenhouse gas emissions, especially when considering the advantages of electric vehicles. Another more surprising use of lithium is in treating mental disorders. Bipolar is a mental health condition characterized by recurring episodes of extreme mood swings, including manic highs and depressive lows. Should then depression perhaps be called monopolar disorder? Anyway, certain lithium salts have mood-stabilizing effects, even though not fully understood, helping bipolar and depressed people be more like Spock from Star Trek or Kratos after he left for Scandinavia. But do not just swallow pure lithium, that would certainly be <coughs> lethal. Instead, the amount of orally consumed lithium medication has to be carefully regulated unless you feel like a lovely session of poisoning and coma. On top of all the other things mentioned, lithium is also used for the production of ceramics and glass, lubrication of greases that can withstand higher temperatures, air purification on spacecraft and submarines, and as previously mentioned, beautiful red fireworks, thanks to the red flame it burns as. All in all, lithium can probably be given the title award of, the lightest metal with the heaviest impact, currently for humankind and its progress. As we draw to a close of our exploration of lithium's transformative potential and its pivotal role in sustainable energy, it's only fitting to mention the sponsor that made this video possible, FE Battery Metals, a pioneer in bridging the gap between innovation and exploration in the heart of Canada's lithium-rich land. Deep within the James Bay region of Quebec, FE Battery Metals with the ticker symbol FEMFF, is poised to play a central role in responsible and sustainable lithium mining and exploration. This region is more than just a picturesque landscape, it is on the cusp of becoming Canada's central hub for lithium mining. Hundreds of millions have already been invested to advance a project here, and FE Battery Metals is right at the heart of it. What makes it even more intriguing is that this $10 million company has become one of the largest landholders in this mining camp, strategically positioning itself next to a behemoth, a $2 billion lithium enterprise on the brink of production. FE Battery Metals is set to embark on rigorous drilling expeditions to explore lithium deposits, and its potential exploratory findings might just be the next big thing in the industry. The underlying strategy is as follows, find high-grade lithium deposits, catch the eye of the nearby lithium titan, and potentially pave the way for collaborations, partnerships, or even acquisitions. As of now, their stock is priced at $0.28 cents a share, an increase of 55% from the beginning of the year. At the helm of FE Battery Metals Exploration is a geologist with an impressive accolade, the 2020 Yukon Prospector of the Year Award. His expertise is not just in titles, he has a proven track record. He previously served as a project manager where he unearthed and delineated a massive gold discovery, leading to its sale in 2010 for a staggering $139 million. Additionally, 
his tenure as vice president of another firm saw another significant high-grade discovery, proving his expertise on the topic. To add to all of this, recent legislative changes have further spotlighted the significance of lithium in our evolving energy landscape. The Inflation Reduction Act, introduced in 2022, offers credits for bidirectional charging equipment. The leading financial services firm, UBS, believes such initiatives could cement the U.S.'s position as a global EV battery nexus. Combine that with the fact that currently, there's only one active mine in the U.S., and FE battery metals potential exploratory findings in Canada could greatly affect the entire industry. When you combine a prime location with an expert team, a streamlined business model, and a relatively small market cap, you have a recipe for a promising venture investment. FE Battery Metals is perfectly poised for potential upside appreciation, especially for those with an eye for early-stage exploration companies. As with every investment opportunity, it's important to conduct your own research and due diligence, and given that the financial landscape is complex and ever-evolving, every investment carries inherent risks. Thanks again to FE Battery Metals for sponsoring today's video and for offering a unique opportunity for those looking to invest in the future of lithium. Check out their website linked in the description below and take a look at their latest projects.